That was an okay class. That was chill, dude. Yeah, that was pretty weak. That was golf class. Blank canvas episode. We're not sure yet. We'll number it later. We don't number things. We kind of do. Oh, damn. Mm, I know. We're that legit. Rebels. We're figuring it out. Ooh, this could be episode 69. I like it. Dude, make it 69, it's, bro. Down for that? It's we'll the just fire fast forward. episode. That's all I know. How immature sure. of this of me is, I, I want to start an Instagram page where I only take pictures next to the number 69. And that's that's <laughs> the only it. thing there's pictures of. If they have an Instagram account where it's, uh, this looks like a dick, and everything uh, oh, is pictures yeah. of things that look like dicks, I'm sure you could do the same thing. Oh, dude, there, oh, somebody, would, somebody sent me, uh, there, there's a guy who takes pictures of only hotel carpets, and it has like half a mil. It's like, it's why? Why not? It's weird what people... That's can what take saying. pictures of and get famous for. Meanwhile, it. yeah, you got to work. You're like, it's funny talking about you because you have. It was a segue for myself. Couple, I set myself up. You have I a couple so. more. <laughs> you have a couple more followers than us, I think. Right? Um, I, roughly so let's, let's about like uh, two hundred sixty-one thousand followers more. But hold on, where am I? Let me Which check. Which I feel in. like is rare. I think I got a K next Mike, to mine. How many people do you convince at the bars per night? I got unfollowed by fourteen people last night. Okay. <laughs> So, but okay. it's like a, it's an ebb and flow. I mean, the yeah. stock market has up and Dude, down days. Ups and downs, they bro. Been fake it's a bear market. You don't yeah. really want them anyways. I got 1.7k, and there's no k. Like today, you got. I'm many, adding the you k. You got that many people today? Zero I mean, today. Again, up, negative four. So I woke up with 1.8k. Uh huh. And now we're at 17, 73. Dude, you're losing weight. Congrats, bro. That's great. Bruh, you know, Dude, drop, that's a diet drop line, off the haters, dude. Dude, but <laughs> here's the thing is everybody starts somewhere, bro. I, I, <laughs> dude, starting posting Instagram videos is, is it's on the same level as like, like when girls want to be an IG model. Like mm -hmm. one day you got to decide, like, I have 900 followers, but here's a picture of me naked with a pineapple. Like, right. You gotta, you <laughs> this gotta cleavage throw, is you different. Throw it out there. This is different cleavage. Like, everybody's got to take that leap of faith. It's like, I know I went to high school and, and college with all you people who follow me, but I'm trying to be an Instagram model. You know, yeah. when I put out my first sketches, I was like, oh boy, you know? Yeah. Where'd you put out your first sketches at? The, on. the first ones were Vine, which was which was early. Oh, you were Vine. Yes, okay. Yeah, I was but I didn't, about that. one of the things my manager said to me is like, the best thing that ever happened to you is you didn't blow up on Vine. Holy which is shit. Yeah. You got a yeah. manager? Oh, I got oh, three legit. of them. I got oh, shut up. Do you? Yeah, boy. Do you have like one specifically for social media? Yeah, well, so so I have a guy that manages my YouTube. That's a whole different. Nah, okay, all right, you know. You, you know, know what? Shell it yeah, out. No, man, I, I got, I got a whole everything. company that like uh, makes sure my YouTube is like doing right, firing okay. off on all cylinders. That makes sense. Uh, which is a phrase I never thought I'd say. Uh, <laughs> just firing off at all cylinders. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's a YouTube channel, not sure. a fucking diesel truck, but sure. <laughs> uh, and then I got two guys over at Brillstein who uh, one helps me with stand up shows okay. and booking and stuff like that, and the other yep. guy's like kind of just like the digital end of it, seeing like if what I'm doing makes sense. Okay. Do you consider yourself an influencer? Uh, I think that name has such a weird connotation to right? it. Right. Yeah. Like, it, it's like people are like, th people think they're like dope. It's like it's almost edgy to be like I'm not an influencer. Like I, I I'm just a comedian. That's yeah. like a hipster thing to say now. Exactly. I'm not an influencer. It's like, yeah, you have nine posts with flat tummy tea. You're kind of <laughs> you're kind of pushing sugar shit. bear hair is yeah. your picture. That's you're kind of an influencer. I mean, I've never been to a Zoomies till you, bro, dude. You're missing out, man. I mean, those employees are dope. They're, they're dope, people. right? They they influence you. I mean, that's the thing. Like between the Zoomies shit and the AirPods stuff, I would have people send me pictures bought AirPods because of you. Went yeah. to Zoomies because of you. Right. Do people send you Annie pictures Ann's of fajitas? Or Wetzel's. You're Starting Wetzel's to. Guy. Yeah, I, I get a lot of fajitas. Uh, Wetzel's people, too. <laughs> a lot too. of fajitas. But it's a lot of things. Like, like if they don't have a Wetzel's pretzels in their city or their, where they're from, and yeah. they go to a mall or the state, they're like, oh, dude, that's he talked about them. <laughs> now and then the I lady behind it. the register is like, do you want a $9 pretzel or not? <laughs> right. But why are you taking a selfie hitting. in front of these This is a fresh stale. batch. Oh, yeah, dude. It's She's so funny. Since three a.m. on those. Yeah, I, right? I did a, a brand deal for Wetzel's pretzels, and uh, I I went in there, like I have an email from the lady who does sales, the mm -hmm. head head honcho. Yeah, yeah. I walk in, this one in Hollywood, and I was like, hey, I'm here to uh, you know, take some pictures for the. Right. She could have not given any less of a fuck. She's like, okay, you're just gonna take pictures in here. I was like. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then she still charged me for the pretzel. Oh, I'm like, what? And you, I got it reimbursed, but I was like, lady, I, I'm. <laughs> dude, what, after a whole $3? Like, I was expecting a. They're like nine. They're there. Really? Do you oh. go straight pretzel or you get the cinnamon ones? What are you doing? I like the, uh, the little pizza guy kind of with a little cheese and pepperoni yeah. on it. 
You know, That's if I'm gonna get fat move. with it, I'm gonna get fat with yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. Might as well. You gotta dude. bulk up. I've been t- meaning dude, to tell I've you. Dude, I've lost some weight, bro. I you dropping lbs, dude? Well, I, I I looked at pictures of me in college, and I was like, uh, I had that frat guy routine, which is just you do biceps, you take a protein shake, and then within the same 25 minutes, you're like Coors Light. Like, <laughs> like, like I was Glam I was like fat buff. Not, yeah. Not fat, but like like. You know, guys that they only look buffy in the right T-shirt. Uh-huh. Like yes. I was one of those guys. Yeah. Like my buys were always showcased. Sure. They were. Yeah. That was my thing. Buys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'd be the running joke. It'd be like the guys because I was in a fraternity. Shocking. This They'd is be like, shocking. Are you doing buys again? And, <laughs> and deep down, I'd be like, Haha, no. But even deeper down, I'd be like, Yes. <laughs> what? Where'd you go to college at? San Jose State University. So. Oh, nice. The yeah. Aztecs. Aztecs. State School. What'd you major? They're the Spartans. Uh, Spartans. I majored in film oh with a minor in theater acting so <laughs> so you, you know. and and as early as <coughs> so at first we were talking about dropping the videos when did you drop like your first, oh, first Vine, stuff Vine, Vine. yeah uh, like when was it that was like 2013 okay. my friend was like it was my sophomore year my friend was like dude you gotta get on this vine app. yeah and i was like bro this is not a thing right? it's not funny yeah and then i made a few videos and it got enough of like a little bit a yeah. little outside of that like the Greek system, people are like, oh, yeah, I saw one of your videos. And I was okay. like, what? And then I had one video that uh, randomly like took off because somebody's friend who had followers shared it. Uh-huh. Okay. And then suddenly in the Greek system, people are like, oh, it's the Vine dude. And I was like, yo, what's going on? So nothing came of that, but yeah. it showed me that like videos can do well. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. funny. That's how videos blow up. You and know? also you have an eye for making the connection i feel like you've got a great uh perspective like you they're all very accessible um yeah. from any perspective like you talk about you've got one with the dad you've yeah. got one with like the zoomies employee like even if i don't know the thing that you're talking about specifically if it's niche like the wetzels thing like if i don't know it, it's still funny right. you're able to uh yeah. connect did you realize that with the vine stuff early or Vine, I just I, I I was using Vine as more like a what not to do. Like okay. is like you'd see these mainstream Viners and just the ideas they do. It'd be like when Bay's mad at you, and then like a fucking T Pain song, and then an ass shaking. You're like, what did I just watch? Like, yeah, it was so fast paced, and it like what were they six seconds or something, right? Six seconds. Yeah. yeah. And so like, if you can make somebody laugh in six seconds, you're like, oh, it's it was like a trainer. You know, it's like yeah. I have six seconds to make people laugh. And then I had a little bit of a following on there, like fifteen thousand. And I know, I was like 15,000. I'm barely at 5,000 well, on my Instagram. I, don't get me wrong, oh don't get me wrong. I was boasting that shit. I was pumped with 15,000. Yeah, How old were right. you? When I was 21. 20, no, I was, 20, I was a sophomore. This was like 19 to 20 area. Yeah. Okay. And then it died off. And then uh, after I graduated at 22, I knew Facebook was going to be a big video thing. I was yeah. like, it, that's the next video thing. So I, it wasn't at that point. It wasn't no. videos. Because Vine died out, and then everybody suddenly like, 15 seconds on Instagram. Yeah. Remember that era when people oh, tried yeah. to make that? Yeah. Everybody was all excited about that. Yeah. And, and then they like, lost their minds at 60 seconds. Yeah, and 15 seconds is like, what? It, 15 seconds is weird because it feels too long to be six seconds, but it's too short to be a minute. Yeah. Right. If that makes sense. It's know? enough yeah. for a commercial on a YouTube. Yeah. Uh-huh. It, it like just That's felt weird. It. And then I was like, if you look down your Facebook feed, it's all political shit from your crazy people from your hometown right. Right. and videos. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. The biggest thing about Facebook is that share option. That's why videos do well. The share button. That's yeah. why videos on YouTube, it's harder for them to blow up. Twitter. Vi- where, you do, where, do you, where do you see your, most of your videos? Where do videos get big? Twitter. That's See, fair. I would say Reddit. A lot. Uh, Reddit's a big Reddit's one too. Big yeah. Too. So Reddit, Reddit makes YouTube videos get big because mm-hmm. I've had some videos yeah. that got posted on Reddit and then it skyrocketed. Right. right? But have I, you ever made front page? Yeah. The uh, the AirPods one did. Oh, I was, nice. Uh, yeah, All right. I was like, that uh, was fun. I don't know why I find that more exciting than anything else he's talking front about right page. now. Making front page of Reddit is I, huge. I got for on me. there one time with a picture of Grand the Grand Canyon. Really? What and were you then, doing? It, I had no comedy at all. I've put comedy on there so many times. <laughs> was it? Was it? Was, <laughs> it, was it, this picture? Just like a like picture? Trash. Dude, it's beautiful. I, I did a river trip in the Grand Canyon through the Colorado River for 14 days. Oh, sick. And I have this one dope picture from my iPhone. And uh, it's something. I forget what the Reddit thread is. It's like. You know, nature or something like that. It's a dope ass picture. <laughs> you big nature, but guy also, like that, dude? dude. Big nature, dude. <laughs> Yo, was big that nature. you on that Reddit thread? Yeah, bro, it was me, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. put meanwhile, I've put so many bits on there, and uh, it never, never does well. Okay. Stand up on online is is a weird spot because like yeah. 
people will watch my videos and they'll be like, if it's funny, they'll comment. If it's not funny, they just don't comment anything. But the second anybody yeah. posts stand up, they're like, critic time. I'm yeah, Howard Mandel. That's oh, so true. Like it's it's such a nobody criticizes something more than a stand up clip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you have the audacity to post this. <laughs> it's like yeah. everybody turns into an America's Got Talent judge, and it's like that's why I don't post a lot of stand up. It's like people are always offended or something. Like yeah. I, I posted that video that you shot over there. Shout out to you. <laughs> right. Uh, which is the camera angle. If you're watching now this. back when you were uh, starting with the vine stuff at San Jose state, were you doing stand up or no? Yeah, you were. So I started stand up at 17, kind of took some time off. I did it for like a summer and then went to college, did the whole frat thing for two years. Didn't even think about comedy. And then once vine was kind of coming back, I was starting to do open mics after class. Okay. And San Jose has a decent enough scene to where you could get yeah. up monday tuesday wednesday for okay. sure and then you know there's a spot i drive on thursdays type deal right. so um because my junior year i was like okay vine kind of did its thing right what i want to do because graduation is coming up i don't want to be looking for a job i had internships yeah. lined up my senior year so i literally went straight from san jose to la okay i had a hot 10 minutes <clears throat> and i was did like you? let's do it I thought it was a hot do, 10 do minutes do you do any of those jokes God, isn't no. it so funny i rewrote one of them that actually works now but <laughs> yeah I moved to LA with my 10 minutes. I went to a few open mics and I was like, oh, this is comedy. <laughs> yeah, like this. bro. Oh, the dude over there that was just on Conan last night doing an open mic? Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Because, you know, but so I felt like I didn't start in LA because I had enough of a grasp of what a joke was structurally. Right. My material just wasn't mature enough. Right. I wasn't mature enough yeah I, I wasn't mature enough myself to have a good point of view 21 year olds are so usually horrible well, that's the thing dude i i By was getting 21, you're thinking up. that you know everything sometimes and but like, you also know so much about penises there's only like, so well, my much material penis. was yeah my material is all about like literally just being drunk and i was like right dude if you're sober like you're like i don't relate to shit about right. this guy or over know? like 30 you're like this is kind of sad yeah. What is this oh, guy talking oh, about? Oh, yeah. So, this guy can't handle his fucking liquor. I'm oh, a functioning alcoholic. This isn't that <laughs> right. funny. You like, blacked out. What does that even mean? Yeah, exactly. What is that I'm even? blacked out right now. Yeah. I remember, yeah, one of the first bits I did. and and Because the thing with me is like, I was in a fraternity. I've brought this up 19 times now. You, um, yeah, and it's a shocker every time. But, first 18. So. A dude with a uh, fire fest Ja Rule shirt. You were in a fraternity, bro? Shocking. But <laughs> the hair? So I had like 150 people just at my use at all times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huge house, right? And then I messaged the booker of the San Jose Improv, and I was like, yo, what I got to do for five minutes? I can bring out, like, 50 people. Which, on a business marketing end, like, he, like that couldn't have been a better email. He's like, I'll yeah. throw some some kid five, five minutes, minutes for 50 bucks. So, like, I would have my friends come out. So, I mean, they would all laugh. So, I never knew yeah. if my stand-up was really good or not. Right. Because I was performing for half my friends at the time. Yeah. You got to make strangers laugh. Yeah, I remember one of my first early on jokes was about like being drunk and finding chicken nuggets. And I was like, this makes no sense, <laughs> dude. But I was like, this most college bit ever. I was like, yeah, but you never been, uh, I don't even know. The drunk nuggets. You're the drunk nuggets, dude. dude. You heard his joke about drunk, drunk nuggets, nuggets dude. dude. So I don't know. I still feel like uh, I have a long way to go to like find my like full point of view. But like mm -hmm. it, yeah. it, now I'm talking about shit that's not uh, like. What's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, I'm blanking here. Uh, stuff that's like, true to me. It's not like made yeah. up. It's not uh, like kind of like. You're not faking it. You're being yeah, authentic. Yeah, exactly. You. Authentic is real stuff. It's not like yeah. a fairy tale of like, this could be a funny scenario. It's like real shit that's happened to me and turning that into jokes. Yeah, I've only known you for maybe like eight, nine months. But the, from the first time I saw you do stand up to now, it's like yeah. you're, you're just getting better and better every time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, the, and so the interesting thing, too, is um, you're, go you're good stand up. Which we've talked about too before, because a lot of times in comedy you see you find somebody that pops like him on Instagram, mm -hmm. and the general assumption of you as a comic, from my, my perspective, would be, "Fuck this dude, hundred percent. He's dude. probably trash, hundred percent. Hack all that shit." Why and then is he, that? Why do you get like that with people that have done it in a different they, aspect? They often get shortcuts, and it's like, okay. yeah. it's all like, right. oh, I haven't seen this guy out grinding at mics. I haven't seen this mm -hmm. guy da 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 da. When he might have been, or he might have been on the road or whatever. Like you don't mm -hmm. really know, but. That's like the first assumption is like he's using his followers to get more stage time than me, but I hit five mics a night. You right. Know, like right. The, the, but, but like the you short worked harder for it. And the right. shortcut is the fact that you popped on Instagram and then all of a sudden you have an audience. So if you're a comedy right. club, you're like, well, I should just get him and he should headline a show because you can fill my comedy club room. Right. So as a, as a businessman, I'm going to give you that opportunity because I need to make money. 
But in the quality of comedy, a lot of those people that get the 45 minute opportunity, they don't have 15, mm -hmm. right? They don't right. even have the 10 you came to LA oh, with. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, a lot of people, like, they spend all this time grinding out mics and mics and mics, but it's like they got a fire 15 to 20. Yeah. And then it's like, can you do 45? And they're like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you got to just, you got to learn to swim anyways. You know, you got to throw yourself out in those positions. But that is something I face where I get to comedy clubs and, like, the manager will be like, do you need, like, a, a PowerPoint? Or, like, do you have, like, Music cues <laughs> because they know me from, oh, from my yeah. YouTube background. They want they assume yeah. that you're going to show some videos. Exactly. They don't expect that I'm just going to do 45 minutes of stand up. Right. right. They're they're like, oh, we thought it was a YouTube guy, and that's like a, a genuine compliment I've gotten. They're like, yo, we thought you were just like a YouTube guy. You came in and like you did your thing. Like that's we we have nightmares because so many of those like influencer yeah. shows go so bad where they do yeah. 20 minutes and yeah. get off where they fucking bomb or whatever okay you got a q uh any questions they do like 20 minute q a yeah well <laughs> oh, the, dude. the first time i met trevor uh we had you in in the studio and uh -huh. i was and i had no idea that he was going to actually do some stand-up i thought he was actually going to go in characters and do different things uh, that's a lot of that's another thing that like i've thought about but i don't really know yet because a lot of people just kind of blindly buy tickets they're like i know this guy i like his stuff online let right. me go see what it's about they don't know if i do characters they don't know if i do they don't know anything really right because i haven't started posting that much stand-up which is why i'm gonna start posting which is more. why i like you're doing it now i mean you say yeah. you're gonna start but you've already started and then yeah, you got yeah, some yeah. pretty good stuff i mean even the one uh that you posted here when you were at stand-up live mm -hmm. about uh the two girls one cup thing yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this um, week sucks tonight every thursday is that what that i totally forgot about it's a that pretty show. big show i just i just knew it was at it's, stand up live show phoenix downtown, new right? times best comedy show in phoenix mm, yeah but and, you're uh, only like, I paid some people. You for paid that. some people. Yeah, for that. that's fine. It's yeah. a bringer show. <laughs> it's a bringer, <laughs> yeah. Trevor brought uh, all his frat dudes. You've uh, gotten yeah. thousands yes. and thousands of views, if not millions. You know, but uh, yeah. you know, another thing I'm wondering is how does it trans translate financially for you? Because this is what your only job, or do you have yeah, a side this, gig th this or anything? Is, I mean, it's like there's like five different streams of revenue. Yeah, for anybody in my position. Yeah, you got your merch, you got your views, you got brand deals, you got stand up, mm -hmm. um, and then there's just miscellaneous type shit yeah, yeah. you know um, yeah because I saw you also do cameo yeah people for actually cameo. paying oh, 35 really? bucks to for say happy birthday bitch yeah <laughs> for real I mean, I, are you the, for uh, mine are like I try to do more personalized and I'll do that in character and like uh, you know people always write back like dude I wasn't even expecting that because a lot of these celebrities hop on there like they'll just they don't care the basic they're, yeah they'll be yeah. like yo Cindy happy birthday from right. Snoop and then he does like the peace sign yeah which i would be stoked on <laughs> to be honest and that's like what peace sign my money. <laughs> oh yeah but um i mean it is cool and i mean like people are so you have to show off so when i do that people will like crop out the cameo logo oh, and then post to be like yo woke up from the shout out from trevor wall uh, like, yeah no, you like, did it, bro. Yeah. You paid me for that. So did you text him back just saying thanks for your thirty five bucks or anything? No, that just because be I I feel like I've been in that time. I've been in that point too, where yeah. it's like you showcase everything. I've been, you know, it's like cool. Yeah, do you? Bro. I know. Whatever, when's your yeah. birthday? December thirtieth. December th another December baby. Well, I'm, We're all I'm December almost babies. December. Oh uh, damn! I'm are you guys Capricorns? Are yeah. you guys early? I'm a Sagittarius. Sag dogs. Mm, that's why Sag I got several life, couches bro. over here, bro. Where are you at? I'm a Capricorn, buddy. Oh, that's fucked up, bro. Yeah. bro Capricorns are great, dude. There. Sag life, yeah. bro. Sag. <laughs> what, does that mean? what does that mean? We shoot Sagittarius. Arrows. No, I know that, but like, what's your guys? What's your guys' hype? What's your guys? What's your elevator pitch? You know, what's your? <laughs> we, uh, I, th I would say we shoot for the stars. We're in the same time as. Do we bond? Jay Z. And Jay Z and is sad. I love how Jay Z is like like a reference point for so much stuff. Oh yeah. God, for me, for sure. Jay Z is like probably my favorite. My same my birthday is the same day as Jay Z. Oh wow, and that's, that's why good. I'm meant yeah. to Dude, be. My birthday, amazing. Tiger Woods and LeBron James. Dang, <laughs> you know who has my birthday? <laughs> Tina Nobody. Turner. Oh. What? <laughs> no one got excited I was gonna for say somebody like, like it. Oh, also Spielberg. Like, also, uh, a Guy Fieri or something for you. Well, first or, of all, or I like, hope uh, Meatloaf or something. This you know? ain't your mama's menudo. <laughs> 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 What'd you throw in here? The kitchen sink? All Dude. right, you're done. All right, you're I'm sorry. Done now. Yeah. This is why he's actually doing better. <laughs> That's oh, true. Boy. Come on. So much Come better. On. No, so much better. No, I, I thought I was doing better until one day I told somebody I want to do a stand-up tour that uh, is in cities only that Guy Fieri has ever raided a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I want to somehow like <laughs> like oh make that a tour. Dude, that'd be dope as and hell. And then like, the last show, he like pops out <laughs> or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. That'd Diners, drive-ins, and dick jokes? Dude. That's wow. it. We're I'd awesome. Go, I'd eat that up, all of it. Can I? Do you need an opener? 
I'm, uh, I can I'm free. Uh, yeah, I, can yeah, I only got a sketch. solid three. Yeah, who, who's your buddy you run the show with? The dude's oh hilarious, God. man. God, nobody else. It's <laughs> just me. Um, the perspective on um, the IG videos, too, that I'm always captivated with, because you are a good stand-up, it's a different muscle, though, isn't yeah. it? It's mm-hmm. a completely – it's not a completely different, but, like, there are jokes that you would take to Instagram – that wouldn't even really translate to no. the stage and vice versa, right? Mm-hmm. What's that writing like? Because I know stand-up's already fucking draining to write write for that, and then you got to write this other thing. What's that like? It is weird because, <clears throat> I mean, luckily I worked in social media for three years. That was my first job was, like, doing social media for mm-hmm. this, like, big YouTube channel. And I just, like, just saw what would work and why, and then I would apply it to my own writing. But it is different, you mm-hmm. know? Social media now is, like... You got to be quick. Yeah. As much as I love like a nice cinematic shot of like a car rolling yeah. into frame and then a boot stepping on the ground right. and you're like, "Ooh, what's going on here?" Social media, people don't give a shit. If you don't start on your face, if the video is yeah. not on your face, people scroll past it cuz they're like, "Don't have to." Like just what I tell people is, "Look how fat look at a random stranger, okay? Not not too close. <laughs> Maybe with binoculars. But look at look at look at how fast the average person scrolls." Yeah. Are you catching their attention? I'm thinking that? about it right now. Yeah. Like even when I'm looking at IG stories, I'm like, everybody All right, cool. scrolls like it's like it's the a bunch of emails they have to catch up on. They're like, mm-hmm. oh, I have to catch up. I was yeah. in a meeting. What did I miss? So if you're not captivating in that amount of time, right. Versus stand up, people are like, he's doing a 45 minute set. I trust at some point, right. He'll be funny, right. But Instagram is like, you got a minute, and that's on the the nice that and that's like. And that's them allowing you, like a yeah, minute. Yeah, a lot of people won't make, won't no, watch dude. the whole minute. It is. What's uh, your take on? Are you're utilizing IGTV too? Because eh. is that the thing that's extended? Yeah, you actually don't. That's no, right. I you don't, don't do it. I a don't lot. know. It's too. What do you think has been more beneficial for you? I mean, besides Facebook. Facebook and Instagram, really. Yeah. Those, those, those are. Uh, those are great. It's weird because Twitter, like, videos will do crazy on there. Like, every once in a while, like, the AirPod one did great. The Hometown Bro one did great. Yeah. And it's like, you don't get a lot of return from that. Because mm-hmm. Twitter's such a it's more mesh. more of a news outlet. Yeah, it's it's also such a mesh of followers. People just, in this day and age, assume it's almost ripped. They, they don't mm. even think that I posted it. Right. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, this was a random. Like, people will yeah. comment on it. Where is this from? Me, like, what the yeah, fuck? right? <laughs> but but like we're like Twitter is such a like rip and post type shit that it's like a Wikipedia. Like you never really know. So the follow back on that is isn't as good. So yeah. But that means a follow on YouTube or a subscription or like on Instagram. Those are they made that decision to do it. Yeah. You know, it's like they found my page. They got tagged in it. So those are like the the people that like matter. Like a million views on YouTube versus. 10 million views on Facebook, I'll take YouTube any day. Really? Because those are, like, the people that are, like, core. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that audience is, like... And they're, like, the, I'm going to subscribe to this. Yeah, just because it's, 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 it's more of a... Not commitment, but it's more of, like, a... Uh, <clears throat> for them, it's investing. They're, like, okay, yeah. I like this guy's content. Right. You know? Whereas on Facebook, too, I feel like I could follow your page, but Facebook's algorithms are so fucked up. I might not even... I know I follow a bunch of shit, and I've never seen them... Anything they post, because oh, it's yeah. just, like... Mm-hmm. It gets I fucking buried. hate Facebook. Yeah, it, it's but yeah. now they own Instagram. That's the weird thing. So, yeah. and I think Instagram is the thing. Like, is, there's no is, question on that, right? Like, that's no, it's the, the thing, thing right? Now. I use that the most out of everything. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, like I think because that's what everybody's on right now. For the uh, most part, Snapchat yeah. had great potential, but boy, did oh they fucking God. they gave themselves a goddamn DUI. Like, they had so much potential, <laughs> and they. I remember I went to a meeting at Snapchat <laughs> and I pitched them something that had worked on my page multiple times and they're just like, yeah, we don't really see it. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, you know what? I literally just showed you it worked multiple times. Right. Like, yeah, I just, that platform, like I went to a meeting and they did were you go like, down there to the, uh, on Venice Beach, right? Yeah, Where exactly. they used to be at? Yeah, they were just like, it was like me and a whole bunch of other comedy creators and they're just like, yeah, so let us know any ideas you have. I was like, and you did. is this a pitch meeting? Is this... <laughs> They're like, we just want to show you a new office. So, I don't know. Dude, that app had so much potential. And then, so much. And then they tried to get all newsy and article. But people still use DJ Snapchat. Khaled was the only one that really yeah, popped. Dude. See, I was thinking them, him or like Who just a bunch pop? of teenagers just are using it. Yeah. Oh, well, now it's like, oh, if, you're use, if you still have Snapchat and you're not using it for dick pics, then what are you using it for? Like, that's the only thing to do for yeah. I'm nudies. on Snapchat, but I'm just like. I'm no not nudies? even using it. There's just people not, just send me just like nudies, zero nothing, nudies. Nothing. Ray, where you at? I know. Well, I get to see her in person, so it's That's fine. true. Yeah, that this is, is real live versus, you know, a picture. That's all. Snapchat is just, it went from that thing, now it's just for fucking, though. 
Yeah. That's what I, I don't know. Maybe that's just. I don't know. I've been it. on Snapchat in a hot minute. Couldn't even tell you. Yeah. It's weird. I'll like randomly like go through like random messages because people still send me shit on there. Right. And it's just like it's just like pictures of like lamps, their feet, their cat. People, yeah. A lot of it's just like random shit. They're like, he'll never open this, and here I am yeah. opening it. <laughs> this is open now. You know how many <laughs> videos I get of guys just ripping bongs, and I'm like, why would I want to see this, dude? <laughs> Only people on Snapchat are my homies back in in Ohio. Yeah. And it's sad. Oh yeah. It's like this shouldn't. You should get off Snapchat. <laughs> To have better content. What, what are you doing on there? Just eating a cold yeah, box yeah, they're of not macaroni doing shit. and cheese? They're the same. Oh, you're at the Easy same bar? Back. Same Easy bar back. that you were at last night? That's what's up. It's a weekday, buddy. Get to fucking work. You're, you're Snapchatting them that? No, not me. Just them. motivational that's what videos? That's what, they're, that's what they're Snapchatting. <laughs> you're sitting back on your me. couch. What's that? that, that uh, was it Everest commercial? You guys remember that? Which one? The, he's, he's like, you're sitting on your couch. You're not doing anything. Uh -uh. Do you guys don't remember that? No. The oh only couch God. commercial I'm thinking of oh, is the girl yes. that was on the Everest. Everest. Yeah, and yeah. then they, they, somebody made fun of it, too. It was yeah, funny Yeah, my buddy Sling Johnson did that. Yeah, Dude, he did a parody of it. was funny as fuck. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that's so funny. Yeah. Just, I, that's what I pictured you were, like, telling that guy. Yeah, like, yeah, you're sitting sit at home. You're not doing anything. <laughs> Go to Everest College, you know. <laughs> that is it. That's what Snapchat's become, an Everest College. Uh, yeah, commercial. mentoring pretty much. I, I still haven't seen it. I'm going to have to YouTube it. Oh, it's great. It's a good one. It, it's one of it's like it's it, it's up there. I think early YouTube has some like this early hits, YouTube, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Just oh, like the uh, same as like two girls one cups that that era hits. Was you know? it, my fir my first YouTube Please say uh, unforgivable. Memory was unforgivable. That is if that guy would have done it in 2019 I don't know if that would have gone as viral. It wouldn't have. I've watched it since. I watched it recently because I was like, I can't even remember this. Video. Dude, it's like. Get hello. this waffle fries. Yeah. But we all, like, everybody knows that quote. But, like, in Just 2019, nuts. people are like, the shit he says. I told my bitch. It's like, whoa, you said the <laughs> yeah. B word. True. Yeah. But they, they, they filmed it in black and white, so it can't be racist. It's like, oh, this is back in the 50s. That was crazy. I remember it was my first time coming back from college in 05. And it was so big. My yeah. dude, Brett, we were all sitting in his living room smoking weed. It's like, dude, you got to see this. Oh, and then wow. it was a thing that you shared with people. Dude, that, that was nuts. That was like the first real viral video, I mm -hmm. think, like that had a follow up. Yeah. You know? Like there was some other well, I was talking about with somebody else. The uh, Candy Mountain. Remember that one with Charlie? Charlie. Yeah. Candy Charlie, Mountain. Yeah. That was like there was Charlie. like when videos went viral oh, that the back one where then. The kids crying well, I mean, or like what? The no, orange that's one? Charlie Annoying bit me. Orange or something? <laughs> Charlie orange. bit me. Charlie this, bit me. Good. That was an era where like when something went viral, it went viral. The Charlie yeah. bit me. That kid is still eating off this shit. Yeah. He's probably like 25 right now. You think probably? I know he's not. He's probably in high school. Like, I'm throwing out numbers he's, here. Like he's I, probably like 32. <laughs> he's running for uh, Congress. So he was two. Yeah. I mean, he's well, running he, for Congress. He's probably like 14. He's Pete Buttigieg. He's running for president. <laughs> but I mean, he's he's gonna be that dude that's like at a bar in 10 years. And be like, yeah. be like <laughs> can I see your finger real quick? They're like, what? He's like, right, let me show you. So She's like, you wait, are you Charlie? <laughs> are you Charlie? That you know? Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to be like Charlie? Just like talking about your. I just Thanks. want people to know my name. That's the biggest goal. Because yeah. some people will, will like stop me. Oh, you're Trevor. You're Trevor Wallace. I'm like, you know my name? Hell yeah. Some people are like, yeah. dude, fucking the thing, bro. You, you do the, the dude, yeah. you do the video Fucking thing. AirPods, bro. Yeah, bro. The Zoomy, bro. Dude, fucking packs. Like those people, that's just generic. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. But if somebody like comes up to me and they're like, they know my name, I'm like, wow. that I impacted them enough to be like, yeah. who is this guy? Mm -hmm. You know, so that's always dope to me. I'll like always take pictures. Do you see things. yourself in like uh, – I guess I don't like TV or like movies and stuff like that. Do you see that as an avenue, or do you really like the content type stuff that you're creating now? Uh, I do want to do movies and TV stuff because that's like a lot great longevity type thing. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, just working with people like that, and it's just like working on a set. You're working with 50 new people who it's like a network, yeah. and like so much of, the, of LA is like not sound stereotypical but like the people you know it's like if you work with somebody and they're easy to work with on set they're funny yeah. they're cool you will get the gig again and again yeah and yeah, again. yeah. Right. so just doing that and i mean um it, but it's a weird position right now because like big companies are going digital everybody's yeah. got their own app like right now everybody's taking what they have and running with it mm -hmm. yeah. like somebody yesterday told me that uh, but CBS is like they're starting their own app or, or whoever NBC has the office I don't know which and, one yeah so yeah. NBC is going to be starting their own right and, and Disney the only too one, exactly and Disney right. and they're the only ones that hold their stuff now so now it's like everything is so spread out I know like, it's like everybody's it's like, just have cable again it's like a game of Hungry Hungry yeah. Hippo but everybody's got their, their, their food they're like we're just showing our corner now yeah. so now it's weird to see like because even Netflix like when Ali Wong's special dropped on Netflix that was like that was like Jeez. the peak of like getting a netflix special yes mm -hmm. so I now agree. it's like and blowing up from it exactly so now it's like this weird spot where it's like obviously it's a great credit but 
it's it's starting to not it already doesn't mean what it used to right. Ali Wong was like you see that Netflix special now it's like he has a Netflix special well, or ne- she has a Netflix, Netflix special Netflix is weird like, because like they'll put out some people that do like the 15 minute segments yeah. and there's some real fun Tim Dillon hilarious yeah, just, that's why I discovered him from there yeah um, and then they also are put out like really old dudes and you're like oh is, who is this for and why did you okay. do this yeah but which it might be smart on their end because they're yeah. like all these kids come from the, the Netflix and chill, you know, marketing. Right. But now it's like, how do we get the people that are like forty and fifty? So it might be smart. They're, I mean, right. every uh-huh. every like veteran comic, like is like yeah, I mean, I'll like, do it. I mean, like the David Letterman one or anything uh-huh. with, uh, oh God, who uh, who's in Cars? Oh, Seinfeld. Cars. Thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that thing too. It's interesting because, uh, well, and then to that point though, like everybody's taking their own shit and owning it. You've that it seems like you're ahead of the curve on that. Then you have your YouTube channel, you have your content, you right. own all that. That's exactly. Kind of a well, that's kind of the Andrew Schultz thing. He's like, he's yeah. just making his own YouTube, his own channel, which is great yeah. if you can be in control of that. You know, that's yeah. like awesome. So it's, I don't really know. Like I say, I want to do something, but times are going to change. So mm-hmm. you if in be two years, yeah. it's like, why would you want to get on that? You right. Know? For all we know, Instagram could be the new Facebook, and everyone just I know on it's there. weird because and the next thing could be Vero. I mean, whatever. the, 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 the Vero biggest... tried. Oh Ooh. yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, one. God. Remember when it was like, this is it? Well, you know, Get for a hot Vera. minute, like a few weeks ago, it like popped right back up again really? for a second. Who is? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's I was saying, I got oh, no. Vero. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember no. what was it last year or two years ago? Because I remember doing a memorial on it, just like, oh, you know, rest in peace, Vero. But like, and then all of a sudden it popped again, but. I just don't understand what the point of it was. I didn't get it. I didn't get what, yeah. why I would connect with people. I didn't know how to even communicate with anybody. And that's no. just weird. It's like we have four predominant apps, I'd say. Yeah. Four to five. Snap, nah. Snapchat's I'd on say the, Instagram, Twitter, oh, Facebook, YouTube, and then there's like the T2. Because yeah. YouTube, as maybe as outdated as you think it might be, it's still the OG. It's so, the grandpa. It's holding yeah. the shit down. It's it's the app telling war stories at dinner. Right. Like yeah. it's the OG. It gets it done, though. Yeah, and it's great because it's a search page search based platform right so if i'm like i want to see mike turner eat a cold bowl of chili i can type that in yeah and there's yeah. thousands of results shout out know? to cincinnati chili yeah so <laughs> but like people like go to my instagram page like dude where's this video dude where's that so the search capability right. isn't yeah. as so youtube is like just it's there and there's yeah. so much information on there i could find a clip from like i use it for so much stuff yeah just to learn too. how to do stuff yeah. well, that's how i taught myself how to edit yeah i mean learning obviously that's the biggest thing that you can do on youtube me i find sound clips to use for my show yeah, oh, yeah really? i feel like you can get some Everything. random stuff on there yeah the it's crazy how specific you can get i, you I really was yeah can, man. i was like how do i make this transition on a cut with a final final cut edit and like yeah. this dude had it and all the comments were like thank god for this but you know what? Uh, so much easier than using google if you think about it I'm because sorry. you have an actual well, visual to go with it I even mean, recipes google, you can people go to youtube for recipes because i don't like reading recipes where someone starts off with well i like to make these lemon meringue cookies on yeah. a saturday morning <laughs> right and it's just the right it's like a personal Bethany, narrative what are you doing <laughs> i want to open a page and it says this ingredient this time go yeah mm, that's what i'm saying like but that's why tasty was doing so well on facebook oh too, those videos like, oh, i love those smash. oh my god those videos but you can tell they're running out of shit to cook Have yeah you ever thought it's about getting doing a little crazy of that I did one and I thought it would do way better. This was like maybe three years ago. I I, I did one, but the, the quality of they, they shoot those really well. I did yeah. one where it was like how to make a homemade pizza in like 10 minutes or whatever. Uh-huh. And then midway through, it's like the, the plot twist is so dumb. The plot twist is like realized your ex used to love marinara. And then it puts a shot glass on the table. It's like take five shots to forget about her. <laughs> Call your ex. <laughs> so it's like the same format. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, this is going to blow up. Right. But like fuck, did the frat singles. boys. I got a craft singles Did video. you do one? No, it wasn't like that, but, but I just I t- put a gun to my head. Um, <laughs> it just it went dark. It really got dark. Yeah. But it was great. I love those twists. Yeah, oh, and, sure. and I uh, I think some people have done like parodies of them, but um, I thought it was like really funny because mm-hmm. I was like, they're running out of stuff. You yeah, can yeah, tell yeah. because they're just deep frying everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your frat like, boys didn't share it? No. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> no. That's funny. You still kick it with those guys? Some of them still live in L.A. Yeah. There you go. I mean, good guys. I mean, they're those people when you just want to have a night where you don't think about anything work-related. Yeah. And you just want to just be a bro, dude. D- yeah. The guys that still sneak in Gatorade <laughs> bottles of vodka. But, <laughs> but they all make 80 grand a year in sales. And they're like, yo, you want some Bacardi? I'm like, no, I want 
friends with money. Like, yeah, right? Like, I get paid to tell jokes, and I'm buying my own shots. Yeah, like, what the fuck's going on? It's hilarious. I actually got kicked out of a bar in uh, Hollywood because one of my friends is like, you want to take a sip? And I was like, sure. Hands me a little Gatorade oh. bottle, and the security sees me drinking it. Oh, no. And I'm trying to explain to the security guard, like, no, I'm not. I'm better than this. No, I don't. Yeah. I, I was saying, <laughs> Trevor Wallace. <look laughs> yeah, out. right. I was trying to just, you know. I'm Smooth it help. out. Yeah, exactly. That's funny. Guys, like, get out of here, man. What would you say to somebody that wants to do uh, everything that you're doing now or, like, getting into the business of it? Because uh, there's a lot involved in yeah. what you do, especially because you mm-hmm. have a lot of help, too. Yeah, I think you just you, – collabs are huge, but at a certain level, you know. Um, like me and Churdley's, if you guys have seen any of those videos we've done. Those are, mm-hmm. those those are like, some of your bigger ones. Dude, we just have great chemistry, and it's just yeah. like – But I've shot videos with, you know, tons of people, and it's like that's the one where the collab fit, where people in the comments yeah. were like, we want more of this. So right. honestly, it all comes down to just keep trying stuff, and it's hard because there's no overnight answer. It's not like if you do this video – You'll get popular because I've tried every type of format. I know what video type works for me. It's the quick one-liner stuff, you know. Yeah. Because you can fit in so many jokes. It's fast paced. It's, yeah. it's it's relatable to people. But also, dude, I tried a, a Drake music video, a parody. Oh, <laughs> that shit flopped so. Really? Hard. <laughs> because I was like, parodies used to be big. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try this yeah. out. If it hits, it'll really hit. And it was when God's Plan came out. I, I shot something called Dog's Plan. Oh, my God. Oh God. I'm surprised I haven't deleted it yet. <laughs> it just. So I, I can Google so, it right now. Oh, it's up there. Oh. I yeah. was, like, so pumped yeah, like about it. I paid a dude to, to a cinematographer for it, all this. Oh, but so funny. I tried it, and it flopped. Yeah. And now I know that ain't for me. Yeah. So basically, just try things, and if they don't work, I mean, exactly, you got to learn your lesson from that. Right. Yeah. Like understand what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. And I mean, because I don't, because my early videos, I like, I would do like, like this, the stuff I do now is not like the stuff I do in the beginning. The beginning would be like quick type sketch stuff where the final joke would be a minute in. That's the payoff type shit. Yeah. I would just do like now you just you just go jokes. Now your shit is like Mm -hmm. once you find out this world that you've built. And it's like, this well, it's is the same the thing for stand up. Once you find your point of view yeah. mm-hmm. and what people hit for you, it's road is open because you're yeah. like, these are what my people want. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why, I like, I mean, not to bring up Larry the Cable Guy, but like, once he saw how much that hit, mm-hmm. yeah. he just started writing in character and was just a sensation after that. That's like, true. Do you think that could be you at one point? You could you're be Larry the, next the Cable Larry, Guy. Larry, uh, Larry yeah. the Cable Guy. You want to be that, right? That's who you've always been. Yeah, I mean, of. I do have that tattoo of him <laughs> on my inner thigh. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I mean, I mean the guy He made money He cleaned house I know And now he's doing Prozac commercials Is so. that That's one that of the That could be you I don't know It's one of those Is that one of the That's one of the commercials For you know, is it? Yeah. stuff Cause he's eating All kind of crazy Foxworthy stuff. did the same shit I didn't mind Foxworthy But he just did that same joke for 20 years oh bro yeah it's what? and this the that, you know your redneck if oh that one who's the one that does uh, that's bill sign? ingvall i mean think about okay. that okay that's what it is the think only one that. i liked out of them was wrong that's White. a video on stage it's yeah. a premise that he plugged in jokes yeah that if true. i were to make my caption of the video rednecks say yeah yeah and it's just jeff Fox you know you're jokes. redneck redneck if right and you do it in video format and you should act it out all i'm doing is writing for those videos like yeah. him on stage interesting and just so relating to people you know i like instead yeah. of like like that last video i did the hometown bro one but i love that video i right? love that oh. shit dude your so, coachella one like, oh yeah went th- nuts yeah that was a ca- collab right yeah yeah so it's just kind of like once you just see what people want and you just kind of stick with that it's like you find your lane and whatnot mm-hmm. yeah and it you're also, also operating within things that you like to I, I feel like you're never reaching outside of yourself to please the audience either like those are all jokes right. and that times like, i have done that i felt it where you're like yeah. this doesn't feel and like the audience weird. can typically feel it yeah. too right yeah, like yeah. it's like this is it's like weird. sometimes you get influenced by people where you're like somebody does a really good idea and then you're like damn mm-hmm. this dude's funny as fuck it's like it's like the whole like when comics listen to too much bill burr podcast yeah they start talking like bill burr on yes. stage yeah. so that's why like it's easy to get influenced and i I've seen it with people that I know. They start shooting videos, and it's very similar to mine. And I'm like, oh, yeah. shocking, you know. But it's it makes sense. They're like, oh, it's working for him. It might work for me, uh-huh. which is that's essentially hopping on a remix of a song. Right. Yeah. You're like, oh, this song blew up. Here's my verse. Right. It might, it'll get you some some hype, but it's like you can't ride the wave off that. Mm-hmm. So basically, just have blinders on for the most part. Yeah, just keep 
just keep trying different formats and like when you do find one that works for you mm -hmm. and honestly i think it's better to blow up later on be, like like uh if you have a whole catalog of videos on your page you got 50 videos that don't have shit for views but one finally pops off mm -hmm. they're gonna go to your page and binge all of that shit yeah. that's like what i say with an artist like when you find out about a rapper mm -hmm. and they have one song out you're like Okay, so now I wait till the next one. Lil Nas X or whatever. Right. Yeah. So now you're 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 waiting for new music from him. He's the label's gonna hold on to that shit. By the time he drops something, you're gonna be like, mm, whatever. What really right. makes you a fan mm -hmm. is when you go to Lil Nas or wh whoever's page, right. And you see they got five projects, five tapes out, and mm -hmm. you can just binge all of that. Yeah, they've and been then, doing it. Oh, dude, that's like I'll find one song I like from somebody on Spotify and mm -hmm. listen to everything, and then that's all I listen to for like three weeks. Yeah. That's what I did with that's the Kelly 47. And, then I, was, oh, and yeah. then I was like, you got to check this out. And I then I'm telling everybody it. about it because right. I'm obsessed with it. That's why yeah. people get frustrated when their first thing they put out doesn't blow up. And I was like, no, 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 no. Dude, you don't I, want your first thing to blow up. I yeah. get like that with this podcast. And sometimes yeah. I, uh, like, you probably get that too. Like if you watch something or something that you put out with uh, NBC or whatever mm -hmm. and it doesn't get that many views, kind of obsess about it. Well, you're wondering what's Mike, going yeah. on. It's like, ooh, 12, <laughs> yeah. 12 views is big. Double digits. <laughs> okay. He's like, this week, 15 days. Brother, but hey, my mom watched it six times. <laughs> but I, that's like some advice. That's like some people. It's like a pill that's hard to swallow. They're like, no, but this video is good. It should blow up. It's like I have videos that didn't do shit when I posted it. Yeah. And for whatever reason, year later, uh, it, it, somebody might have been stalking my videos, shared that, shared it, yeah, kicked back up again. I've <laughs> multiple of those videos where like they topped out. And then something happened where it spiked back up again. Yeah. I shot a, I shot a parody. Um, I love parodies and mockumentaries. So you know the show My Strange Addiction? Mm -hmm. I did a show. It was like My Strange Addiction uh, of taking dick pics, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Shocking, right? Looking yeah. at me. You? I, uh, yeah. This is your idea. So I posted it, and then it, it, it did like it did cool. And then uh, randomly, like a few days ago, I noticed it was like one of my bigger videos on YouTube. Really? really? And sometimes it just gets picked up again. Or somebody, somebody puts it in a Reddit thread or something, something like that. You yeah. Know? So yeah. so it's like just because it's not seen now doesn't mean it won't get seen ever. Like yeah. if people are fans of you, they'll look at your shit. Yeah. And sometimes all it takes is that share to get the rotation rolling again. Yeah. You know, you'll see videos still on your timeline that somebody will share from like 2017. It's like, like my biggest yeah. video that Zoomies one is still probably making his rounds. I'd say every day, mm -hmm. a few people have never seen it and they share it. Yeah. So it's still, and then sometimes it's just gets a second kick of wind or whatever yeah yeah for sure so that's so would you say it's important to push out something and then focus on the next thing yeah or, yeah uh-huh don't get too caught up in one yeah right i mean do that. I, I don't know if that's a professional approach i know people that spend like two years on a short film but it's worked for you that. so i mean it's yeah i think it depends on the end game goal, yeah. you know like what i want to do for sure but some people's like i put my heart and soul in this short film uh-huh like my wife left me for this short film. Right. This shit better yeah. pop off Tribeca where you at. Yeah. And then if it doesn't, they're like, that was my life. That was my baby. It's that right. eggs in a basket mentality. Right, it's exactly. Like and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But, like, just keep putting shit out. Mm -hmm. it's like, that's something I learned from this dude, Kev on stage. I don't know if you guys know him. Uh -huh. He is, like, my mentor in all of this. He's like, as long as you didn't lose fans, this it's a, it's a W. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every video you put out, you didn't lose fans, it's a win. People want to see your face. That's why he's like, he posts every day, which is crazy because he's on tour. He's on tour with Tony Baker. Mm -hmm. He's got two Shout kids. Shout out to Tony Baker, Tony Baker one hilarious. of the funniest fucking Another comics, dude period. That, like, I like fanboy out yeah. there. We're like homies. Kill, you know? killer, <laughs> killer content and amazing stand-up. Yeah, but yeah. like he posts every day and he's like, if you can't post, throw something up on the story. Yeah. Give people yeah. a reason to look at your face because you're slowly just cementing your image on the viewer. Yeah. You know? It is funny. Sometimes I'll look at my the IG story. You know how you know you've posted because it has a circle or whatever around yeah. it. Uh -huh. And I'll look. I'll be like, damn, I have nothing there. I should it's have weird. something there. You know? yeah. It's a weird feeling. Oh, bro. Like, it's, yeah. I got to What, what should I put up? Dude, it's Dude, like this like quick, the like, day. you scattered. You're like, what can I do? If I can <laughs> throw a picture with I the feel, smart water. You feel like naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, what the fuck? Why am I not in the also. It's also a lot of people go to your page and that's a, the first thing they click. Because on Instagram, like, it, it shows. What's this motherfucker mm -hmm. up to? Yeah. Yeah. On Instagram, it shows you like, how many page visits you get. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes when a video is doing well for me, that number is really high. Yeah. And my story view will be high. Because people are just nosy. Like, who is yeah. this guy? What's he doing? What's he, yeah. what's he real life? Because that's where people are, their story, that's themselves. They're not acting, they're not doing anything. It's just them. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, sometimes you see the people that got like 35 stories and it's the tiny little dots. Right. Oh, I know. I'll, I'll and keep then when it you see those, I just want to keep Oh, yeah. I'll like, go back. If it gets too crazy, I'll go delete some shit. 
Oh yeah, that post yeah. or something like. From Next morning, you're like, "Ooh, I was. Ooh, your boy I was Liddy. Feeling that publish <laughs> button, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was singing Rihanna. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I love catching. My I know you want to see me naked, drunk naked, naked, on, naked. on their on their uh, their story. That's so funny. Yeah, there's nothing funnier than a drunk person on their story. You're like, "Oh, this dude's hammered." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and you and also have that one dude going that, back and looking at it. Yeah, oh, you're shit. like, "What did I do?" Last you got balls if you can. Sit through and watch what you post the night before. Yeah. I don't even. I don't question. It. I'm like delete everything. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm not gonna sit back and be like this plays in review. Uh, <laughs> I'm straight to. I don't care, dude. <laughs> Deleting everything, bro. Oh, dude, stupid. people are. There was this. This is. This might be too inside baseball. But do you guys remember that do, uh, Instagram guy Boom Gang? He would no. steal all this shit and then he would yell Boom Gang. It was the. Uh-uh. No. He was like this like social media like phase he got really popular mm-hmm. he got like a million followers he used to steal shit and then record it mm-hmm. and it got like for real like theft I, he who knows if he returned it yeah but he got like a million followers real quick and then one night he was hammered and on his story he posts a video of him banging straight up fucking no. lights on what? and i was like dude like there's no filter when, when you're lose, uploading. Yeah. You lose oh, his account got that. deleted. Yeah. No, that was the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But it's just it's like <laughs> like it's so funny. Like there's zero filter on that. And then Instagram gets wind of it. They're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Please do not. I was do trying that. to be authentic though. Take that shit to chat roulette. Yeah, okay? right. Yeah, right. Shout out to Poor chat roulette. Did you chat grow up roulette. on chat roulette? Uh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody that like grew up on like the the like the e bombs world, chat uh-huh. roulette was a, a great time world. killer. Chat roulette is funny. I tried to go on the other day, but my uh the internet wasn't connecting. No. I, would, I would love to <laughs> see. Blessing in disguise. Oh, yeah, man. I would love to go back on Not there. good just, connection in Pine Top. You know, it's yeah. not. It's not. Uh, but chat roulette was like, that was like the OG, like. That was some wild shit. I miss it. It was, I do and I don't. It was funny for what it was, but then it would just be weird at times. Yeah, it's you kind of just what Instagram me. stories is almost in the sense. Think about oh, it. Except, you really fast, you definitely yeah. do that. Except you don't always see a heavy set dude beating off. Yeah, mm, I chat roulette. Really you get to see. Oh, that. are you not on my Instagram? <laughs> so, so you like, you don't you. follow me? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I I do love like there would be guys on chat roulette who would like try. To, they were ahead of the catfish curve. Huh. Like they would hold up a picture of a girl on the screen. Yeah, and you'd be like, "Yo, what up, Samantha?" And then he pulls the picture down and oh. he's hit with a dick, and you're like, "God oh. damn it!" I saw one where this dude. Uh, it was a close up image, and it looked like some girl's snatch. And then, like, when you oh, panned yeah, out, yeah, it was yeah. this dude's Classic. Chin. Classic. Oh, and oh like, that was like if, if you would uh, put the yes, yeah, 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 bro. Right, 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 right here, dude. That's a like good OC, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> it's got, like, a spiderweb tattoo right yeah, here. Right. That was the first cap. The original catfish was actually the uh, when you make an ass <laughs> yeah. with your forearm, you know? Or butt yeah. finger. I, I even saw this. Somebody, butt butt finger, yeah, somebody sure. on, like, Twitter, this girl was, cat, like, somebody recorded her sending it. She put like a thong like right here in between. Oh. Like, so and they legit. Oh, it might have been the leg because like, a little bit yes. meatier. Yes. And they made it look like an ass. And I was like, you don't know what you're doing to a man's mind. Yeah. I know. This dude just you got butterflies like- over a kneecap. I know. Bro. This dude risked it all. Into a goddamn Mid-stroke. kneecap. <laughs> Jesus. Well, now we know what his new fetish is, so it's fine. You know? It's true. I know. Well, hey, man, what do you got uh, coming up that everyone needs to know what about? What do I got coming up? Uh, I'm going to be in Nashville and Huntsville, Alabama, May 29th nice. and May 30th. I'm excited to do those. Nashville should be great. Good food. Oh, yeah. Uh, You're doing like 45 to an hour, too, so yes, they get sir. to see your headline and set. Yep. Nice. So those are, those are two-night gigs. And then uh, I'll be back in Arizona in November. It's like the weekend, bef- the weekend before Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Cool. Got that. I'm going to be in Boston in September. Got some uh, back in D.C. in September. And you got all your dates on. It's TrevorWallsComedy.com. Trevor TrevorWallsComedy. Yeah, Trevor Walls yeah. was like $1,000 for a domain name. For, Trevor uh, Walls Comedy, oh. 100 bucks. So oh, you better right. believe... <laughs> I don't give a shit about that full domain. The there only thing go. that's cool to have full domain is Instagram. And I bought my Instagram handle off an eighth grader. That is a true story. Are For you real? serious? Yep. My how old Instagram, much? How much? 40 bucks. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. Because I only had like 20K back then. But uh-huh. I knew, I was like, okay, if I get, because if I have like half a mil and I hit somebody up, he's going to be like five grand. Yeah. Oh, Ball's yeah. in his court. Yeah. I didn't have that many at the time. I hit up the dude and I was like, yo, man, you want to sell me that? Because I had Trev Wall, which was the same as my Twitter yeah, and I saw and I offered. He's like, and this is how I know he's young. He's like, yeah, I'm down. I'll get my mom's uh, PayPal when I get back oh, from school. No, no, no. And I was like, yo, let's fucking go. And he did it. I switched it so quick. <laughs> sent him the money. I was like, because now I locked it down. Yeah, you got the first and last name, dude. That's oof. I feel like I made it. Yeah, 
It's perfect. So, that's funny. And man. then yeah, then I got the check mark, and I was like, boom, complete package. Yeah, congrats on the check mark. I I uh, met you like I said, I've known you for like nine months. When I met you, you had like thirty eight k. I remember being like, dude, this guy's got some followers. Mm-hmm. Two hundred and sixty four right now. Yeah, right? dude, it like two hundred sixty four k. AirPod video hit big for me, and just like certain videos would just be like, boom, boom, and then all the stuff I did with Chad Churdley's like that did like great and then it was just like this like it just hit after hit mm-hmm. and a lot of people would say that to me they'd be like i keep seeing your face on my feed yeah which is great whether you like it or not you know, know who i am now. you know hip-hop or what is it called world star and shit world was star like shit, some of my shit so mm-hmm. hopefully next time we see you at half a mil yeah Millie, right? that so. one m bro you get that m oh. bro Bro, once you, you get one M, M celebrating, right? Once you get an M, kick Mike off. Of <laughs> oh yeah, from one M to another. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, yeah, yeah I always do. Uh, this week sucks. Uh, be, that's a great show. I'll yeah, you pop yeah. on the shows. And Come think, back, man. I think that's what's cool is when you see some of these dudes who get big and they do these dope little shows that are like city. Yeah, you know, I like. I that's respect. You it's know? just nice to see everybody coming up, especially you know, like we even, to come up. I, how long have I known you? Maybe nine months too. You knew me when I was at thirteen hundred followers, and yeah. I'm at seventeen hundred now. It's like <laughs> oh, that's four hundred people, dude. Dang, dude, you're <laughs> that's a dad. like that's like a Denny's on a Saturday <laughs> morning. Dude. You know what I mean? That's, you know what that's pretty good. Right after church. Hell yeah! Like I'm over here sitting on fifty six. Hey, that's pretty good. Though. Send some over to Mike. Let's yeah. dude, say, hey, start a GoFundMe for no, more followers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that'll work. They're like, do you want money? You're like, no, oh, no, no. Just follow me. See, that needs to be something. That's so we do right a GoFundMe for followers. Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, we appreciate you coming through, man, always. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. It's appreciate always fun it. having you around.